The first day of the Parks Racing Fall Festival is today, and we are now joined on the line by trainer Ian Wilkes, who's got the number two horse, Island Town, ready for the Smarty Jones. Ian, thanks for being with us on Horse Racing today. Oh, you're welcome, Rich. No problem. Let's talk about the, the Grade 2 Indiana Derby. It was not one of his better efforts. He caught a wet racetrack for the first time. Is that the, the, the excuse for that effort? He just didn't handle the, the sloppy going? You know, I don't think so. I, I'm not going to rule that. He just didn't. That was the first time I shipped him to a race. Um, I shipped him in that day, what I normally do, shipped him in for a race. And he wasn't the same horse in the paddock. You know, he was, he was very nervous. He was just a little uptight because he's a little quirky type of horse. So I shipped him up early. I, I shipped him up three or four days early for this race. And, and has he acclimated better at parks so far as you can tell? Yeah, very, very relaxed. He's very comfortable. He's a happy horse. So everything looks good so far. Coming out of the race at Indiana, I see three works on his tab, all three of them on a synthetic surface. Was that by design? Is there any particular reason that you wanted to work him out on a synthetic track? No, it's just out of Skylight. It's my, um, at the training center where we have uh, lease and stalls out there. And I just changed it up because he'd been at Churchill for a long time. And when, now that I'm going to have to ship him some places, I wanted to change up his atmosphere, you know, change where he was looking, what he was looking at. I wanted to do things differently, get him used to not being in his comfort zone. Well, that's an interesting point that you raised because his comfort zone's pretty evident. He's got uh, three wins and a second, all four of those good efforts at Churchill. You mentioned the fact that he was a little out of sorts at Indiana. Are, do you still maintain your level of confidence that he's capable of running a big race away from home base? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think he's a, I think he's a very talented horse. And, you know, sometimes you just got to put a line through just the way he handled himself in the paddock. You put a line through it and you move on. And, um, and I still got that much uh, the confidence in this horse. I think he's still developing. I think he's still going to improve more, this horse. Two races back, he's uh, he won the grade three mat win. We're looking at this race right now. It was the first time that you'd sent him in around two turns, and he virtually went wire to wire. Were you surprised to see him on the front end, even though the, the early fractions were not particularly taxing? Yeah, I was. Um, I was surprised, but the, when you ride a good rider, Julian rode him, and, and the, the gates opened, and the speed horse broke bad, and we were left there, so he, it had to be a split-second decision. So that was... That was good on Julian's part, you know. That was very, very smart riding there. And, you know, you just couldn't you couldn't take back going that slow, and he broke that good. Now, Brian Hernandez is aboard, and BJ was his early rider. He was aboard for the first three starts of Island Town's career. You, you clearly are comfortable with this jockey. He took you to the top of the mountain with Fort Larned, and, and he's had great success with the horses that you train. Any particular instructions for him, now that you've seen what he's capable of doing, with a, a more forwardly placed trip, will you have any particular instructions in today's race or just leave it to the rider to sort things out? With a small field, I'm going to leave it to Brian. I got the confidence in Brian. I, I got him, and Brian helped develop this horse early on. Um, and it was, just, it was just the way I go to Florida, Brian goes to fairgrounds, and Julian helped me work the horse down there. That's how Julian got on him down um, when we come back. And, you know, Brian, I have, it's a, Brian's race, and I told him it's just his race. He, he just needs to, when then gates open, he needs to read the race, ride his horse, and have some fun.